Previously on the Lazy Geckos. So we're sailing from the United States to the Bahamas. And from what I understand, you need to get the COVID test. We have to apply for an international health certificate visa on the website. And then we add Reese onto that, but he does not need a COVID test. Okay. We take our test here. That first day is day zero, and then we have five days to get to the Bahamas. And then once you get to the Bahamas, five days later, you have to take a COVID test there. Okay, so you have to quarantine once you get there. For five days and then take a COVID test there. Right, and then you pass that, you're good. Yeah, but on their, that website I was on, they gave marinas where you can go and they have testing. Right, yes, yeah, you say the marina? Yeah. After months of work, we're headed for the Bahamas. It's time to drop the lines. Let's do it. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. How are you looking? Good. How's that oil? It was, uh, time. I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just, it needed to be changed in the transmission. These have, the transmissions are on 200 hour cycles. The engines are on 500 hour cycles. So, but it's just easy. I mean, you just take it, you suck. It's like a half quart or something like that out. What I do is I just simply suck it out and put it in a ratio right and measure it. And then I put in exactly what I got out of it. Cause a lot of times you won't get it with it at the bottom and stuff like that. So right now I'm just putting in the fresh oil. This is a little dipstick with a little gauge on it. Simple. So. But this is all the maintenance that we require right now. We have 100 hours left on each engine. We're gonna get all we can out of those, and then I can do that oil change anywhere, but um, I'm hoping not to run the engines that much. Do a lot of sailing, you know. We got Jeremiah filling in the maintenance log over here. I'll come in. It's pretty populated. Hello, beautiful. Hello. This is my little maintenance record. I don't, I don't know if anybody will ever be able to read this except for me because I've read so poorly. Yeah. But, um, I see. probably could. I just always put everything in here. So, like, I'll put right now, I'm going to put that I replaced the port and starboard transmission oil. It's on a 200 hour cycle, uh, the reverse gear. Um, I have to do it for both because when we first got the boat, the, it had just been repowered. So, it had the new MDIs on there. And then we had one MDI go bad, like 150 hours in or something like that. And when you replace it, it resets the hours. So it looks like one engine has 1,014 and the other one has 1,143 as far as hours. Really, they both have about 1143, but because that MDI got replaced. So if you ever want to sell a boat and say the engines are new, just replace the MDIs, I guess. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow, I didn't think about that. Yeah. But I just put in here, you know, everything so I can go back and be like, boom, 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 okay, that's where we are. The date, the engine hours, and what I did. Nice job, baby. Thanks. We're doing some last minute tasks before we set sail. That just seals it, makes it watertight. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Was that fairly easy? Yeah, they're really easy to do. All right, I just take it apart, check the voltage, and, um, you know, make sure it's good and then I throw one. This is the second one we've done. We have another one, but it, the old one works. So we're going to keep that on until it doesn't work anymore. These are pretty expensive. These lights, they're like, uh, this one here is like 300 bucks or something like that. Oh, wow. Uh, the other two are like 250 or something. But yeah, you want to, you know, try to make them last. It's nice. You know, now we'll have lights down at the water line. We were using one up at the top of the mast, but, um, and it worked fine, but I'd rather boaters be able to see like at eye level your boat at night. So we replaced it today before our next 
overnight passage, which is probably within the next couple days. We want to be like a nice, bright, shining star out there. It looks like our new dinghy engine has arrived. So excited. Jeremiah's up there to get it and we'll put it on. So he was in the middle of washing the boat. I'm inside cleaning the boat. So I was down here just finishing up the kitchen, vacuuming and cleaning the floor and then I'll be done cleaning. He hasn't even started the outside, but that's all right. And then the engine showed up. So he's gonna get it. You're out for it. it. Looks huge. And yeah, as you had the box. Hey Barry. Yeah, man. This scheduling is great. We ordered this engine three months ago and it's arriving the day before we leave the dock. We weren't sure it would make it in time. We were hopeful though and it worked out perfectly. That's it. Yeah, have a good one. Nice, right? Yeah. I must be like a 200 horsepower in there. I don't know. We're proud new owners of a Mercury 20 horsepower engine and it's electric start. Now to get it on board. We'll put it on like we took it off. Got a lot more to lose this time, though. It took some muscle and a little luck to get it on Taco without dropping it in the water, but she's on. This thing is sweet. We had a Yamaha, which we had nothing but bad luck with, so we're excited to give this thing a go. You wanna do it? No, you do it. Right. It's the engine you wanted. I don't know, let's see. Remember the Yelp third prop. Oh man, how was that? That was easy. That was sick. That's like brand new. That's like no fuel in there at all yet. Yeah, what? It needs oil? That's you didn't cool. have to crank it 50 freaking times. No. That's nice, right? Bravo. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, my turn. So this is one of the reasons why we got this engine because Brittany couldn't start the last one. Not because um, she's weak, but because the Yamaha failed us several times. I can touch it or do I hold it till it starts? Push it until it starts. Oh, wow, that's so much easier. It's got a really nice throttle with a friction lever. Can I just push? Push it, hold it until it stops. Jeez, that's amazing. All right, who's ready to go for a ride? Right? No, no, I'm serious. Little ride. John, you ready? I've been drinking all day. I don't know if I should. Do you have, a, <laughs> do you have my life preserver aboard? What? You're fine. <laughs> Jeez. Decided to go for a little sunset dinghy cruise. It's our last night here on the dock with John, and then we'll be taking off. So, good way to say goodbye and test out our new engine. How's the engine, guys? So far, so good. Not rowing yet. Here we go. A little stroll around our home marina and we're all set to depart tomorrow morning. We'll miss our friend John, but I'm sure we'll get together soon. Definitely think I won't have any trouble doing it. No, I think it's a huge upgrade, especially for you. You just push the button and go. These things were showing like they're not in stock anywhere and we had to order it from like the factory and it took uh, about three months. It, it came a month early from what they originally said, which is great, but they shipped it Dropped it off right here at the marina, uh, unpacked it right on the dock, put it in one of the, the, the carts, and wheeled it down here and threw it on. We were able to lift it between the two of us and then another guy helped. It's 99 pounds. <laughs> John's out there like... That's all right. Oh look, carpet or something down here. It's, uh, the engine weighs 99 pounds. The last one was a little bit heavier, but it was successful. We didn't lose it in the water. Good morning. After a few months of repairs, our lady is ready to sail us away. Are you ready? This is our favorite part of Florida. It feels like home base to us, but we're so excited to go explore new places and see new sights. Well, we are off the dock. Thank goodness. It's been pretty uneventful here. I'm trying to find an area where there's no wind. So you can hear me. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 
Today's been pretty uneventful. Um, we got up nice and early to get off the dock. I think we had about a 12 hour day of sailing down the ICW. We're going to Cape Canaveral. We might go through that lock, depending on weather. We're gonna check it when we get there. If the weather's good, we're gonna go through there and go offshore tomorrow to go to south, more southern Florida. I'm trying to get down south. Um, if the weather's gonna pick up and be bad, then we will stick with the ICW, but we, we prefer to go offshore. Otherwise, nothing else going on. It's been really calm. So good to be back on the water. It's a little hot. <laughs> I'm actually still in my underwear that I wore as my pajamas last night. And then I just threw a sports bra on. It's, it's that hot, but that's all right. I'm excited to use my new anchor, windless. This is the first time I'll be using it since installing it. I'm excited. I'm also a little nervous, you know, cause we haven't used it. So I'm like, oh, I hope everything's okay with it, which I'm sure it is. We both installed it. We know what's going on. We recently replaced our windlass and anchor chain. It's a pretty great feeling knowing we have brand new gear holding us in place. Hello there. Hi, I get Hello. to use the new anchor. I know. That's exciting. Yeah, just take your time with it, you know. I will. Yeah, kind of watch what it's doing. It might act a little different, you know. Sure, it'll be fine? Yeah, I think it's super fine. I see that you're gonna shave. Yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair up a little bit. I saw the um, hair clippers in the bathroom and I'm like, that makes perfect sense because I just cleaned the bathroom yesterday. No, I'll do it on the back of the boat. Oh, yes, yes, okay, that's even better. So we have this thing where I, whenever I clean the bathroom, it's like perfectly lined up with the once a week when Jeremiah cuts his hair. He usually cleans up pretty well, but two times ago he didn't and I was a little upset. I have to go out there and I'll do it like my feel, then I go to the bathroom and I'll like, Okay, so he makes both of our areas dirty. That's no. great. But you know what? I don't mind because he saves us money. He's been doing it the whole time I've actually known him. We're going no. on 12 years. What do you save us like 20, 30 a week? This haircut's pretty, uh, Basic. pretty easy to do. I don't think it is. He has three different styles. He goes shorter on top, longer on the beard, or he goes longer on top, shorter on the beard, or he just makes them even across the board. Tonight's stop will be just south of the NASA Causeway Bridge in Cape Canaveral, Florida. We'll swing to the southwest side to protect us from the northwest winds. We're expecting a calm night tonight. Let's drop the hook. First step is getting the anchor ready by letting it dangle. Then once down, I'll hook up the bridle. The windlass is working great and we're all set up for the night. So that went well. A little hard getting the bridle on my anchor chain. It's new anchor chain. Um, I'm not used to doing it because we haven't anchored recently. So I just, and everything's kind of stiff. So it was a little tight getting that bridle around the anchor chain, but I got it and I think it went pretty good. It was three inch, three inch bridle. But it's just brand new. It has that coating on it. Yeah, maybe that's it's what like it is. It's got a galvanized the... coating on it, so it's probably made a little thicker. The bridle line is stiff, so yeah. I couldn't pull it up to give me slack. It's because it's been out of the water for so long. Yeah. If this will loosen it up, we're just sitting on top of it now. The wind should go to the, basically like we're facing right now tonight from the northwest, so it should be good, but they're light, man, like seven, nine knots. So we're going to grab some sundowners, set our chairs up, and enjoy the evening. I knocked dinner out a little bit earlier. Um, made up a little beef and broski with... broski? Beef and broccoli with some wild rice. Knocked that out. Already got the dishes done. So time to enjoy before tomorrow. Another big day. I don't want to film. Actually, I'm going to film you. Film that fucker. I sprayed him. He fell back off, and now he's like... This is what you do there when you go. don't want cockroaches on your boat. Look at him, he's like, oh. Oh no, he didn't make it. No, he didn't. Last night, I, I was I walked up to the boat, this is where the dock was, and I saw something jump into the exhaust duct. And I was like, oh, Hold is on, that let me a... show it. I was like, oh, it must have been a crab. Same and thing. then we got here, 
and I came over and just walked right down here as soon as we got here and I looked over the edge to see if the edge got cleaned off because of the water and um, this dude was sitting right next to the exhaust duct like freaking out and I was like oh hell no so I knocked him in and then he started swimming for the boat I was like okay we're gonna get some killer so hopefully I, we don't have any cockroaches hopefully he just hopped on there last minute the last marine and went into the exhaust duct and uh, that's the end of them Show me how you fend them off. What are you using? Yeah, well, well, I had them, so I was like, come here, little cockroach, and I got him back on there, and I was like, and then he just fell off. You do not want cockroaches on a boat. Not fun. There's so many nooks and crannies for them to hide. Oh my gosh. So I'm happy that we're sitting here battling the cockroach. That's the highlight of our day. It was so calm. Battling cockroaches. Oh, Is there another one? Okay, I was gonna say we have a problem. No, I was just handing you the thing. I'm just putting this away. Oh, okay. Thankfully, this was a lone cockroach. Sorry, fella, you've got to go. It was time to enjoy a sundowner. Well, it was supposed to be. That was a major fail. I sat down, went like this, moved my chair, and spilled my drink everywhere. So I'm drenched, Jeremiah's drenched, and the worst part about it is Jeremiah said, don't sit your drink there, it's gonna spill everywhere. And I soaked him. He's not too happy with me. That's cool, right? Mm. He's decided to go offshore. Mm. Last night we weren't. I woke up this morning and we are, so I put my lovely patch on. Well, the weather, the weather changed a little bit, so I think it would be good be able to get a nice little hop in and it won't be too bad um, we're gonna go down about an hour about seven miles and then go through the Cape Canaveral lock and then um, we're at SF pretty cool that's where they bring the rockets through yeah that'd be awesome yeah and then we're gonna go out the uh, Port Canaveral inlet and sail overnight down to uh, Palm, Palm Beach cool yeah beautiful this morning nice calm anchorage it's always nice to wake up and enjoy some coffee or tea. Time to weigh anchor. 44. 35. Okay, going in neutral. The canal at Cape Canaveral, Canaveral Barge Canal, I think it is, um, has two bascule bridges and the lock in the middle. We're going into the first one. They do limit, like, this one only opens in an hour and a half hour, so you kind of have to just time yourself to get there. The, I think the can the, the, lock goes up and down like as you need but the one behind that on the east side of that the bridge it only opens um, at certain times and it has limited hours on the weekend so it doesn't open between 12 and 1400 so you kind of just have to time it right um, there's a little spot in the middle that you can anchor to wait if you need to we're coming through right now it's almost noon uh, we'll see exactly what happens as far as time frame but if we have to we'll just throw the anchor down in the middle wait before we go into the lock and then go when it makes sense so we'll see how it goes but it's pretty cool to go through this this is where a lot of the rockets go which is awesome surprising they make it through these little bridges trying to time this just right we decided to wait for the next opening ready to do this yeah i don't want to get stuck on the other side of the canal with a bunch of wind in there and then have to wait 45 minutes for the opening so this is a nice big open area right here. We're just we're just doing slow circles, um, and then uh, we'll go in there, and then hopefully time is just right, and then go through the uh, next bridge, and then it's open ocean after that. There's a bridge just after the lock that has limited openings. We're hoping we'll get through the lock and then breeze through the next bridge without having to hover in place too long in high winds. That's the plan anyway. Locks are pretty easy. Once open, you just pull in and find a spot on the wall to tie up to. This lock has a pretty small up and down range, so this was a quick transition.
Unfortunately, the bridge operator skipped the opening and we ended up circling for 30 minutes waiting for the next one. Oh well. Finally offshore and ready to hoist the sails. Sailing south, baby. Nice. Under yeah. sail once again. Good. Yeah. Jello is just a little bit loose. Like this is the halyard. So we just replaced these, so kind of tighten up just a tad. This is the first sail with our new gear on board. Oh yeah, that's true. Very nice. The seas look to be one to two feet. Nice calm. Downwind sail. The winds are about 10. Uh, we have both sails out and we are headed south. Our heading, uh, it's about 120 degrees where it's coming from off of the port beam. So back here somewhere. Right there. Looking forward to it. Should be hopefully uneventful because that's the best kind of sail. It was a lovely sail in decent winds. Next stop, West Palm Beach for our jump to the Bahamas. Coming up on season 10 of Lazy Gecko Sailing. We're going down. I'm gonna go for it. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. No, it's not done yet, man. You're gonna blow us up. You're always giving me crap. 100th bug bite. Why do you, why do you keep letting bugs bite you? Watch out, me. That is one rough dingy ride. We hit the golf stream a little early. How much damage we get. We are all checked in. That's amazing, huh? This is our first beach in the berries. The hot spot won't work. Hope you like black coffee. It's next to the blue hole in the Bahamas. Some big freaking sharks. <laughs> Just not working. So I don't know why the second one wouldn't be working. What did you do wrong, Jeremiah? I think they look for like charters mainly. Somebody said they were going to go now. Your spaghetti dinner was about approximately $16. It's a really good bargain. You guys ready? Come <laughs> snuggle. Uh. I got two warm milks, bagel, sausage, banana. See, that's our problem. Yes. So it's stopping the water from going into the water heater, dingy into the mangroves. And he confirmed our props are stuck. Turns that electrical signal into a mechanical. Did I get it? <laughs> Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.